Due to arid condition, saline and sodic soil are usually found in our soil. Uh, chemistry of saline and sodic soil. Actually, we have uh, three type of salt affected soil. Uh, these type are saline soil, salt problem in general, sodic soil, sodium problem, saline sodic soil, problem with sodium and other salt, high salt and high sodium concentration. Salt, salt affected soil are often, often found in arid and semi-arid areas. In, air, in wet area, salt affected soil does not consider a problem because the amount of rain fall, uh, rainfall is, suffi is sufficient to remove excess salinity from soil, the soil. So rarely found saline soil in wet area. Some salt affected soil may be found along the shore, shores of the seas where the sea water reaches this soil. Causes of soil salinity. The first is soluble salt under uh, arid and semi-arid climate where there is insufficient water to leach soluble salt from the soil. Salt accumulate due to evaporation is dominate in the condition uh, where the precipitation is very uh, limited. The dominant cation found in saline soil and water are sodium, calcium, magnesium, potassium, while the anion are uh, chloride, sulfate, hydrogen, carbonate, carbonate, and nitrate in some time. Bicarbonate ion is present in a result of interaction of carbon dioxide with water. The source of carbon dioxide gas is either air or as a result of respiration of plant root and microbes react with uh, water to produce uh, uh, hydrogen carbonate. The carbon hydrogen usually raise the pH to 8.5 or higher. So the first is uh, uh, the first cause of uh, soil salinity is soluble salt, either uh, applied to the the. Uh, 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 present in, uh, in, in soil in arid and semi-arid condition. The second reason is evaporation. In arid and semi-arid evaporation is higher than precipitation. Consequently, water lost by, lost by evaporation is between 50 to 90 percent of the soluble salt. increase from 2 to 20 times. So uh, in arid and semi-arid uh, environment, evaporation is very high, whereas the precipitation is very low. This led to increasing concentration of salt in the soil. Uh, the water evaporates while the salt accumulates on the surface of the soil. The third factor is drainage. The poor drainage can cause salinization of soil due to the increase of groundwater level. Saline groundwater, usually groundwater have a high salt content. And, and uh, the water, uh, the, the poor drainage water cause salinization 
due, due to approaching the groundwater to the surface and the water uh, and the capillary action carried out, especially if there is a, uh, is a groundwater on, uh, on a clay soil. The ground, uh, the capillary action is conducted. Uh, the water reaches the surface. The water evaporates while the salt accumulate on the surface or on the top of the soil profile. The fourth important cause of soil salinity is the application of, uh, of saline irrigation water or the using of saline water for irrigation. The high concentration of soluble salt in water, such as sodium, boron, and other elements, has adverse effect on soil properties and plant growth. Of course, if you apply wa uh, bad water, then you will deter deteriorate your soil. And consequently, if you uh, if you if you add uh, saline water in irrigation, consequently the salt will be accumulated in the soil, and the soil uh, will be deteriorated. However, if you especially in arid condi condition where is the evaporation is very high and the salt accumulates on the surface. However, if you are using fresh water, the accumulation of salt will be low while leaching process will be dominate. So we have four factors causing soil salinity. First, one is soluble salt on the soil which is not be removed from the soil profile and accumulated time by time, especially in arid and semi-arid condition. Evaporation is high in arid and cause accumulation of salt. Lake of drainage system, efficient drainage system, will lead to salinization of soil. The first most important factor is irrigation water quality or they irrigate the soil with saline irrigation water. How we express a silent expression? We have an expression called total dissolved, dissolved solids or TDS. It represents the sum of soluble cations or anions in the soil in milligram per liter or milli uh, equivalent per liter it's, it's a, a unit of expression of the salt milligram per liter liter of water of water extracted from the soil to determine the salt on the soil you have to first dissolve the salt in, in distilled water and extract, extract this water and and determine and if you evaporate this water, you will gain the sol soluble salt. You will obtain the soluble salt. So, so, so on the soil. So how again? How we we measure uh, in in all uh, method for determining uh, total dissolved solid that you put a fresh water. Uh, distilled water to the soil and uh, mix and then extract the, the water. The water will, will dissolve all soluble salt. If you, if you evaporate the water, the salt will be a precipitate. If you weigh this soil, you will obtain the concentration of the salt on the soil by milligram per liter or milli equivalent per liter. The total dissolved solid, the dominant salt, as it, uh, sol, uh, salt, the dominant ions on, so, on, on soil and water is calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium. TDS equal these cations or those anions, carbonate, hydrogen carbonate, chloride, sulfate. So TDS equal the summation of cation, this cation, or summation or or summation of anion in milli equivalent per liter or 
milligram per liter. Actually, the, the first method for measuring, and uh, all of scientists are using now this method, or, or agriculture engineers now use this method for determining the uh, uh, soil salinity. This method by using electrical conductivity method. The AC is used as a guide to soil salinity, and you can convert the soil salinity to the TDS by multiplying the soil salinity on a constant factor, because there is a direct relation between electrical conductivity of the soil solution and its TDS. The higher the electrical conductivity, the higher TDS. TDS assumed it has the unit is the uh, the soil salinity has a, the unit of T, DC Siemens per meter or millimoles per centimeter. Then here is the unit of electrical conductivity as a unit of this is Siemens per meter or millimoles per centimeter the same this is Siemens per meter equal millimoles per centimeter uh, the EC has a unit of this is Siemens per meter or millimoles per centimeter and both units are same. This is all the unit and however this is a recent uh, uh, latest mid uh, unit. So if you have the EC by using EC meter it's an apparatus have two electrodes and both these electrodes on the source of uh, electric and you can measure the electrical conductivity easily and convert the electrical conductivity to TDS by multiplying on 10 if you have you obtain the electrical conductivity and multiply on 10 you will obtain TDS milligram milli equivalent per liter however if you multiply in 640, if the EC is less than 5 DC Siemens per meter, you will obtain the TDS in milligram per liter. This method is based on the fact that the current in the salt solution increases with the increase of salinity of sol uh, solution. Due to the increase of concentration of the solid ion, under standard condition. The electrical conductivity of irrigation water range between 0.15, this is fresh water or rainy water, and 50, this is same as per meter 50 is, is sea water. The electrical conductivity of the soil solution and range water will be higher than the irrigation water due to evaporation and accumulation of the salt. Irrigation water is a good and suitable for use in irrigation without causing any problem if the value of the EC is less than 0.7 dC Siemens per meter. If the EC more than 3 dC Siemens per meter for irrigation water can be affected the gross and the productivity may uh, the, the crop productivity may be affected. 